we're back unearthing Kentucky's history. Today we're not unearthing Kentucky's history. We're unearthing West Virginia's history. Got Brian with me, and right here's the feller that invited us out to his dig, Travis. And he's been finding a lot of good stuff here. So we're gonna hop off here and get to digging and sifting, and hopefully we'll get back with you shortly. Later. All right, guys, we're back. Brian's first on the board this morning. Check this out laying right in the sifter. Perfect. Little Adina. Check that thing out. Carter Cave. I bet when that's cleaned up, it's going to be translucent. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, there's one. Hopefully, we'll get back with many more today. Later. All right, we're back. Brian, literally five minutes. Got another one. My hole. Ugly, crude <laughs> little thing, but hey, it's a point. All right, guys. Hopefully, we'll get back with you here soon. Later. All right, guys. We're back. We've literally, I mean, we have killed it on the pottery and plant today. And we've got three broken bases on arrowheads over there. It's the very first one I've ever found. I ain't even see. I ain't even shake the sifter yet. But look at this. Look at this salt. That's my very first one I've ever found, guys. That's an awesome find. All right, guys. We'll get back with you for find anything else later. All right, guys. We're back. You know why it's on. Another first for me today. I want you to look. Laying right there. Check this out. Check this little drill out. Crude little drill, but man, it's got a needle tip on it. Well, guys, if we find anything else, we'll get back with you later. Well, guys, we're going to wrap it up today. Lord, we've, we started digging around, what time you say? 9.30. Yeah, around 9.30, and it's about 4 o'clock right now. But I'm going to show you a little bit of what we found today. I didn't get this on film. It's a broken blade Brian found. And we've got a little drill and some bases and... And a Dina Brian found. And here's a little side notch I found. Muscle shells that we found today. We found a lot. Why don't you look at the pile of flint? There's that salt. And there's a pile of pottery we found. Brian can't give it up. He's still back there scratching around. I tell you what, I want to thank Travis here, this is his overhang. He got permission to dig on. I want to thank him for letting me and Brian come up here. No problem, guys. And we've had, we've had a heck of a day digging. And hopefully we'll have another one of these digs up here at this one, maybe next week. So guys, I'll catch y'all on the cleanup later. Well, guys, we was, we was going to try to leave, but I want you to look what Brian just walked up on laying. He must have scraped it out of the ground, but Look at this bone all. That's, that's awesome. Alright guys. Now we'll get off here and I'll catch you on the cleanup. Later. Alright guys, I'm back with the cleanup from the dig from West Virginia that me and Brian got invited out to. I want you to look at the stuff that we dug. Out here is all big muscle shells that we dug. I want you to look how big that thing is. I think that was about two and a half foot deep, probably that one come out. And I didn't even bring all of the shells home. There's some pottery, and this is probably the most unique piece that I found. I want you to look at the lines that they cut into that. Pretty cool. I'd like to find the rest of that bowl. 
There's a little quartz pebble found up there, a river pebble. And we got bones and don't you look at all the flint. Now in this dig, I found two things that I had never found before. And right here was my first. This is my first ever salt. And I'm not I'm not one hundred percent sure what kind of material this is made out of, but I mean it's smooth and it's polished. You can see the bit. A little rough right here. It's been got a crack on it. But hey, you know what? For my first salt, I'll take that. Like look how they ground the edges down on this. And then my second find. First ever, never had found one until now. Is this tiny, tiny little drill. And check that thing out. That's sweet. And then, Brian, he, this was the very first point. Brian found this little Adina. And then he found this crude little point. And then got a base right there, a tip that Travis found. There's a tip that Brian found, another little base. Here's a little side notch that I had found. Crude little thing, but it's all artifacts safe from the ground. I believe this is a base off of a little knife. And then Brian, he was just literally scratching around and scratch this out big mid section off of the blade and then i was in the back of the cliff and i scratched this out don't you look how they worked this you can see the flaking on it must have been a big square knife or something it's uniface it's flat as could be on that side and then Brian, he found this bone awl. I brought it home. Brian actually found two bone awls. Travis took one of them home. Uh, the one Travis took home, man, that was a smoker. But yeah, I mean, we had, you can see it. We had an outstanding, fantastic dig. And I want to thank Travis for Lord, I think we've thanked him about 10 times because, you know, we had an awesome dig. There was times that I was just so tired of digging that I, I was like, hey, man, let's pack it up. But every shovel that you would pull out of that cliff, you was pulling four to five pieces of flint or a broken tool or bone or pottery. We just couldn't quit. But guys, this was... The first dig of this West Virginia overhang with me and Brian in it. And Travis has invited us back out for another dig. And guys, I hope y'all enjoy this video. And like always, please like, share, subscribe. And spread this, spread the video around and share us because we're trying to build ourselves up here to just get more viewers to show everybody what we're finding. All right, guys, until the next dig in West Virginia, we'll catch you later.